Sheree, the caller could be charged with making false alarms. And while John Crawford's attorney says the caller should be held responsible, he says ultimately the caller didn't kill John Crawford. Beaver Creek 911, where's your emergency? I'm at the uh, Beaver Creek Walmart. There's a uh, gentleman walking around with a gun in the store. This 911 call is what brought Beaver Creek officers to Walmart. The caller claimed John Crawford III had been waving the gun at people, including children. So he just pointed at like two children. Okay, I do have officers there, so stay on the line with me, okay? Not a problem. The caller also tells dispatchers Crawford tried to load the gun. What's he doing now? He looks like he's just trying to load it. He's just trying to load it? Yeah. Confirmed. Arriving officers shot and killed Crawford, saying he didn't respond to orders. They can't just show up and two seconds later, someone's dead. The gun turned out to be a toy. Had the police officers, when they showed up to the scene, had they assessed the situation, they wouldn't have shot and killed John. The caller could now be prosecuted for making false alarms. A judge says based on surveillance video, Crawford was not pointing the gun at children. He should be held accountable for him making this false alarm or making the call. But ultimately, it was not him that pulled the trigger. What happens next to the 911 caller will be up to a prosecutor. The family is still fighting for someone to be held responsible in the death of their son. They relive this every day. There has been absolutely no closure for them at all. A Greene County grand jury did not indict the officers in the shooting, and more than 18 months later, the Department of Justice investigation is still ongoing. Tammy Matassa, WLWT News 5. All right.